Hi, and welcome to this short video where I'm going to explain some of the resources that are coming out in Corbett Maths to help you prepare for your GCSE Maths exams in 2018. Um, so first of all, um, this video is, is focused on students that are studying for edXL or AQA. Um, however, if you are studying for CA, OCR, WJEC, um, some of these resources will still be very useful for you. So first of all, there are three GCSE papers that you're going to be sitting. Uh, there's paper one, non-calculator, on May, May the 24th um, in the morning. There's paper two and paper three, both calculator papers, uh, on June the 7th and June the 12th. Um, all three exams are in the morning, in which I prefer uh, just to do it. If I'm sitting in the mic, I find myself a bit fresher in the morning. Hopefully that might help you out too. Um, so what resources am I going to create to help you prepare for those? Um, so first of all, um, I'm going to create or release over the next couple of days um, a big paper, a bumper paper called A Bit of Everything. Um, I can't really predict what's going to come up on paper one. Actually, I avoid making predictions as to what's going to come up anyway because with there being three papers, it's a bit harder than it was with two papers. Um, so um, the first paper is going to be called A Bit of Everything. There's 117 questions in the foundation one, probably something similar in the higher one. Um, what I've done is I've taken the specification, that's the list of topics the exam boards say that teachers need to teach you and what you need to be able to do in the exam or what they're going to test you on, and I've created a question on everything. The idea is it's, it's a bit of a checklist really for you, so you can go through, do the questions, think that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, oh that one's hard. Well, I'll just recap the video, do a bit of work on it, especially as there's about you know two weeks to go to the exams. So you know you can just sort of brush up on those little areas where you need a bit of help. I'll put the link. Um, there's going to be a YouTube playlist on that. Um, there's so you know you, there's a playlist with everything, but there's also question uh, video numbers on the questions, so you can sort of see oh well that's the video on Corbin Labs that I need to revise for it. Um, there's going to be a bit of everything paper for AQA higher, AQA Foundation, edXL higher, and edXL Foundation. Um, there'll be playlists for all four of those as well. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you out prepare before the exam. I'm also going to release a challenge paper, so about a week later, with just sort of about 10 days to go, um, about 20, 30 questions that are a bit curveball, just to sort of help you see, you know, the exam, you know, there'll maybe be 25, 30 questions in the GCSE Maths exam, about three or four of them will be sort of curveball questions, a bit different, and these will help you prepare for those. I mean, it's nearly impossible that I'm going to predict or create a question that's going to come up in the exam because obviously the examiner will be trying to be creative to come up with their own but it just gives you the idea of the links between different maths topics maybe tree diagrams and algebra and things like that okay so the first paper will happen on may the 24th um, in the morning um, and then i get to see the paper the next morning and i frantically prepare the resources to give you that afternoon actually i do a bit of the work beforehand to help me out now i create um two papers then for you so if you're studying either you know the AQA higher foundation the edXL higher foundation there'll be two papers for you one called very high chance and one called high chance they're not predictions as to what's going to come up in paper two because as i said that's very difficult they are um i look and see what questions were tested on paper one and i see what topics haven't been tested yet so maybe stuff like trigonometry trigonometry is a very important topic if it didn't come up on paper one i think there's a very high chance it's going to come up on either paper two or paper three so it might go into the very high chance um, paper but really what I'm doing is I'm creating papers of topics that haven't been seen yet if I was revising for my GCSE maths and I've done the first paper and then you know topics like histograms haven't come up yet I would revise them a bit before paper two or paper three obviously the, there's a chance of topics from paper one might come up in paper two and even paper three um, but um, yeah, uh, this is sort of my list of the topics that haven't come up yet. Um, obviously, you revise, recap everything, but I would spend a little bit of extra time on those. So um, there's the very high chance papers, that the answers, there'll be playlists for those as well, and they'll all come out on May the 25th. Then, um, paper two happens on June the 7th, so you've got half term, that sort of bit of extra time to work on things. Um, and paper two happens on June the 7th. Um, again, um, it's calculator, so you'll go in, you'll ace it, fingers crossed. And then I get to see the paper the next morning, and I release then again unseen topics that haven't come up on paper one or paper two yet. So I would think, you know, man, they must come up on paper three. Again, do recap everything, but they'll be created. There might be very high chance, high chance, or it might just be one paper, depending on how many topics haven't been tested yet. And then really then, uh, then this is the paper three on June the 12th, and that's when you chill out. No, that's when you finish off the rest of your maths exams and or your rest of your GCSEs and hopefully have a good summer and wait till August and get your 
top grade. Um, so they're the resources that are going to come out. I hope they're useful. Um, if there's anything I can help with, go on Code Maths, contact, get in contact with me, and um, good luck, and I hope you do well. All the best.